Hello and welcome everyone. My name's Nick and tonight I'm basically going to be talking about my lunch. Generally it stays pretty consistent. Um, as you can see on my table here, I've got three glass bowls for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and this is my protein sauce I generally have for lunch. Now as you see it does, you know, you might not know what it is, but it's tempeh and tofu. I tend to do a mix of both, and generally speaking, I do 200 grams combined, so 100 grams each of each one. That brings my protein up to around just under 40 grams. That's what I try and average for most of my meals. Um, it's fairly, it's fairly uh, high in fat, uh, but it's. Uh, it's not too bad uh, and you know I quite enjoy eating the vegan meals but that's not all I have for lunch so I'm just showing you what I've cooked already and then you can see how I use calorie shaving tactics to uh, basically keep my lean physique so to the left here I've steamed three bunches of asparagus so I'll be filling this up basically to the top almost for each one as you can see here uh, it's you know this is just a rough estimate and I like to use a little bit of color in my meals so uh, some red capsicum and some tomato both great sources of vitamin C tomato is good for potassium uh, that's something I have to monitor in my diet because I've registered low electrolytes uh, in particular with potassium. However, I also add a carbohydrate source to this. Now, what you see on my bench here is two tins. Red kidney beans and black beans. I generally have half a cup of these then they've got a good source of protein but they don't have as much carbs as say rice so if I'm feeling like I've carved up too much I bring in the beans however tomorrow I'm just going to go with half a, with one serving of rice which is basically 125 grams of rice which equates to about 33 grams of carbs so that's what I generally have with my lunch meal here now further to the point, I'm cooking this tempeh and tofu in a pan on the stove. Use about five or sorry, a teaspoon of coconut oil. Just helps, I don't, it just helps flavor it a little bit. But furthermore, I will basically accelerate the cooking process by using apple cider vinegar. Now generally you don't cook with this stuff, but if you can put this into your diet, whether you use it as a dressing on your salad, it's really good for stimulating uh, hydrochloric acid in the stomach uh, to help break down food. And um, yeah, it's awesome. Look out for it. The Bragg's brand is really good. Uh, go for the raw, unfiltered uh, version. So I add that in and just a little... Uh, treat that I got from America on iHerb.com not that I'm buying from them anymore because of the Australian dollar but this uh, coconut secret uh, product is coconut aminos and it's seriously it brings to life your food no matter if you're cooking vegan or meat or whatever it is it literally is a beautiful product to add to your dishes and it's low sodium as well Fortunately, where I live in Australia, we have a number of uh, uh, products available and these ones are local in my area. They're called uh, Tinderbox and I've just put them on display and look, if you're watching this from another country, I'm sure you've got scores of herbs that you can use, but I like using these every so often just to sprinkle and they're all healthy. You know, they're all dried herbs like thyme, chives, basil, rosemary, uh, paprika, and yeah, they're just awesome to add. You see, healthy food does not have to be bland. You see, this is going to fill me up. 
my stomach is going to register I'm full, but the calories in this are significantly low. The only one calories I'd be like watching the most is the rice. But then again, my body burns so much energy all the time that it's not such a problem. And so all I wanted to explain was this is how generally my lunch looks. My carbohydrate sources can be beans or rice. And as I've mentioned previously, protein comes from tempeh or tofu. And I'll make further videos about generally how my dinner looks depending on a workout day or a non-workout day. But um, I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you've got any comments, please put below. And give it a like if you think it's worthy. And thank you for watching.